BFM 89.9, I'm Audrey Raj with your World Cup Quickie. If you missed the Portugal versus USA match this morning, please catch the highlights. What a crazy equaliser by Portugal in the final second of the final minute of injury time. Cristiano Ronaldo with a beautiful cross to keep Portugal in the competition. So the match ended 2-2 and a draw between Germany and the USA will be enough to see both teams true. Over in Group H, Algeria beat South Korea 4-2, a six-goal thriller there. And of course, Belgium beat Russia 1-0, so they're through to the knockout stages. We are halfway through the World Cup. It's going to 32 matches have gone, 32 more to go. Holland, Chile, Colombia, Argentina and Belgium are through. Cameroon, Spain, Australia, England and Bosnia are out. And tonight, the final group stage matches kick off. There are four matches tonight. Australia take on Spain. The Netherlands are up against Chile. And then at 4am, Croatia are up against Mexico and Cameroon play Brazil. We're all looking forward to these matches. So tell us who you think will win in the comments down below. Now here's Shirat Kutin. Thanks, Audrey. Now for your morning headlines. It's a Monday, cause for sadness for some, but happiness for others. We start with lots of misery on our front pages. There it is. The young man who captured uh, headlines over the weekend continues his story of neglect and uh, torture, I guess. If you're not, you're being starved to death by your mother. I think that's pretty much torture. The papers haven't decided whether they should blank his face out or show it. But these before and after pictures are very telling about how much he suffered over the last two years. So that's Harian Metro's headline as well. If the question is, and it's, and it's really quite a serious story, what is behind all this? It could be this. Is this the face of urban poverty in Malaysia today? How is a single mother with a working class job supposed to afford caregivers? All these questions, I guess the media should be looking into when they take a, a further look, a deeper look at this story. In the star, Dramatic headline, it, they claim it's an exclusive. Enemies within. And they're referring to how kidnappings on the east coast of the state of Sabah are happening. Who's involved? Who's colluding with uh, so-called intruders? Now, uh, enemies within the party. And this, of course, is a reference to PKR. There you have a story. Violence in the uh, constituency of Kotaraja. This is actually re-polling after polls failed uh, some month ago. Actually, we were supposed to get the results of the party polls a month ago on May 13th, but it hasn't happened. And this episode is now proving to be deeply embarrassing to PKR. These images are just the start of a deeper problem of the nature of that party. And on the front pages of The Sun, a story about whether you can buy your pills uh, at a pharmacy or are forced to, as it happens now, to buy your pills from your GP. Remember, there's this conflict of interest issue that has been brought up by the pharmaceutical industry. The retailers want uh, people to have choice because that means that they might get some of the profits that are now obviously going to doctors who can dispense pills. Well, what's the problem? with doctors dispensing pills well if they can dispense pills then they can basically over prescribe pills to their patients and that's a problem that everybody sees that's something that's up for debate also uh, before we end downgrades for Malaysia the air is extraordinarily bad out there and the papers are reporting that the pollution air pollution index or API is showing pollutant levels going up in places like Klang also major downgrade for Malaysia in its attempt to deal with human trafficking. We went from the watch list of tier two to tier three of the US uh, State Department's human trafficking report. We had uh, been waiting to be upgraded to tier two, but had failed uh, after two waivers, two waivers and four years. We're not doing enough. The government disputes it. Suhakam is concerned. And the word of the day is downgrade. Yes, folks, self-evident. I need not explain further. That's all we have for you this morning. You've been listening to BFM's Morning Headlines. I'm Sharad Kutin, BFM 89.9.